Hello, I'm Greg and in this video I will show you how to create procedural clouds in cycles. So with this simple shader here, every cube will create a unique cloud and cubes can have various dimensions. So this is the shader and I will show you how to create simplified version. So here we have our test cubes, we have to remember to apply scale. So let's start with simple volume scatter. We will need texture coordinates, input node and mapping node. We will use noise texture to generate the cloud shapes, but first we need a 3D texture like a gradient texture. So we just need to change the origin of the sphere inside. With these values we can get the shape we want. One more important thing, we need something to sharpen the volume. We can control the size of the sphere inside the cube. And this will come in handy later. Okay, so now it's time to mix in the noise texture. Uh, we need a couple of nodes. And we will change the vector values. So with XYZ separate and combine nodes, uh, we can modify the value on the each axis of 3D texture we use for our cloud. And when we plug noise texture for each axis, we start to see the effect. As you can see, it's very easy to control. But as you can see here, each cloud has the same shape. Also, the cloud is stretched. So, if you plug the object coordinate, we can see now the noise is independent of the size. So 
so now we can see each cube uh, is different if the size of the cube is different. But what about the cubes that have the same size? We just need to fit some random number to our noise texture per object. Probably there's a better way to do that, but for our example it will be enough. So we will use location. Well, we can't use multiply. I will add another noise texture to use two different scales. It looks okay. I like to use a divide because it gives more definition to the shape. It's very easy to control. As you can see already we have different noise uh, on each cloud. Uh, noise is independent of the size and shape. This is important. Now we can simply copy cubes and uh, each time we have different cloud. We can use even particles for clouds and for that we will just need uh, to mix in another value. We will add the index of each particle. This will give us random shape of the noise for each object and each particle. Let me just clean this up a little. Maybe we'll put it in the frame. This is important if you add more components to the shader. Oh, let's name it randomizer. Oh, seed randomizer. So now we will just uh, put it in a group for better control.
So this is the result. As you can see, procedural clouds are quite easy, easy to do and easy on the memory.